In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a classic look, the orange and teal. But I'm going to add a vintage twist to it. So what exactly is orange and teal look? Well, it's a really popular look in Hollywood films and often used by lifestyle influencers on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, I turned this preset into an Instagram filter, which you can use. Link is in the description. So this look is really popular because the colors orange and teal complement each other so well. By adding teal to the shadows and orange to the midtones and highlights, it helps create a pleasant contrast. Okay, let's get into building this filter now. Check the link in the description for the download to this preset, as well as others I've created. Okay, so this is the image I'm gonna be working with today. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the light section. Um, we're going to add a little bit of contrast with this. Um, so I'm going to add five. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my shadows. And I'm going to go with negative 10. Um, so as far as the lights, that is all. Um, what I need to do next is go to the curves. So what I want to do is create a nice S-shaped curve. So I'm going to bring this one up a bit. And then I'm going to go to the opposite side. I'm going to bring this down. And I'm going to create three points. So I'm going to create one point in the middle. And the next point is going to be towards this end. And then one is going to be up here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this down. And then this one I'm just going to bring up very slightly. So that looks good. Um, so we're going to come down to the color. Um, we're going to leave all this as it is. Um, we're going to go into the color grading. So this is where the main effect is applied. So right now I'm on the shadow. So we have shadows, midtones, and highlights. So I'm going to go to shadows. So we want to add teal to the shadows. So we can manipulate this like this. So the hue number for teal is 180. So we want to select 180. So what we can do is we can adjust the saturation of that hue. So I want to bring this up to um, 45. So that's good for the shadows. So we're going to go to our midtones next. Um, so for the midtones, we're going to add orange. So the number for orange is 30. So there's 30. So now we can adjust the saturation of that. Um, so the saturation I want to put at 25. And then we're going to go to the highlights. We're going to take the hue up to 30, because that's also orange. And this time the saturation is going to be bumped up to 45. So basically the same as the shadows. It looks pretty good right now. Um, so we're gonna hit done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the color wheel. Um, so we're gonna go to our oranges and we're gonna bump up the saturation on that. So I'm gonna bring my orange up to 20. And then I'm gonna go to the, the light blue here. Um, for this one, I'm going to bring my saturation up to 60. And then I'm going to go to my blue. And for this one, we're actually going to change the hue of it. So if you can see, if I change the hue, it's going to change the overall color of the image. So obviously, we want a more teal look. Um, so we're going to change the blue to negative 25. And then for the saturation, I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. So I'm going to bring that up to 14. We're going to hit done. OK, so next we're going to go to our effects panel. I'm going to reduce the dehaze. We're going to go down to negative 20. And then we're going to add some grain to this. So I'm going to come down. Crane, we're going to add 
35 to this. And that looks good. Yeah, so there's our look. Pretty simple to do. So here's the before and then the after. So if you found this helpful and want to learn how to create more presets, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you go to my website, there's an option to get email updates when I release a new preset, and you can learn how to turn those presets into Instagram filters.